Welcome to the Dad Podcast, where we prepare for tomorrow's political conversation by how we engage today. I'm your host, DL, and this episode is Libertarians on 25 Issues, Monopolies. If you're new to the show, liberty represents the message of all your freedom all the time. And Dad represents the delivery. Recognizing tomorrow's conversation with my son is determined by how I engage with him today and applying that to those around me. I'm taking the concept of a dad that can speak on many different topics and applying it to liberty. But speaking is not enough. It is important to be informed and speak in a manner that invites people to seek out your opinion in the future. This season, I'm joined by local Libertarian City Council candidate Jerry Rarbaugh, known to many as Pastor Tubb or just Tubb. Pastor Tubb, a father of three, shares the same vision I do when it comes to communicating liberty. Prepare for tomorrow's conversation today. The theme for season three of the Liberty Dad podcast is Libertarians on 25 Issues. Each episode will focus on one of 25 different issues from a libertarian perspective. I got the idea from the book, Introduction to the Libertarian Party by Wes Benedict. In the next hour or so, you'll become more informed about how libertarians view monopolies. And with that, let's dive right in. Tub, how hey. are you? All right, I'm splendid. He now, is splendid. In, in all honesty, remember we're three weeks, <clears throat> three weeks that we've been waiting to do this topic. Yes. So, listen, I don't know where I'm at. We'll we'll see what happens. I got. We're just we're, there's a level of winging it now. Yeah, we're gonna. You, we we may be entirely wrong about everything today because you know usually we're always heavily researched and fully right. in the know. Yeah, we're right up to date and exactly with what's going on and right. the trends of whatever topic it is we're covering. Right. So this week here we might have to get a little slack on this one. Yeah, we, okay. we're just going to be making stuff up about the market about monopolies. Oh, so it's the same. Never mind. That is the same as every week. Oh, never yeah. mind. No, yeah. Continue. Yeah. Keep doing what go. you're doing. All right. So we're doing good. Okay. So. <laughs> Uh, this week, we're going to talk about monopolies and let's hear, let's start off again. You know how, uh, if you're a regular watcher of the show, you know that we start with talking about, um, <clears throat> by, by reading what the book says about it. Now the book, if you're, if you haven't seen any of the other episodes, it just simply gives a very short description, usually about a paragraph, sometimes even and This is sentence. actually a longer one this in is all longer. reality. Yeah. And so what, the, what the author has done in this book is just take one chapter and say, here's 25 different issues, and then just kind of briefly give you a synopsis of it. And then we go into depth and talk about it. Or in depth, not into depth. Into depth? Yeah. So, into depth. Yeah. My, my we English go ocean searching in order in to... progress. All right. Are you going gonna... like, to... It's like, yeah, I was joking earlier, and I kept calling it monopolies. Monopolies. And he was like, dude, don't don't say that like, in the... And then you just... And then I did, did it anyway. You just... Because did. that's how we roll. We, we... You know, it's kind of like the times where people say, you know, I did something really stupid. And mm -hmm. then they'll tell you and you go, nobody would have known. Because right. you know, sometimes you just do something on your own. Right. You're like, oh, I can't believe... You know, nobody would have known if you didn't you say something. how many like... husbands I've had to counsel and tell them, like, don't tell your wife about that affair. Like, No, that, that's not what we're talking about here at all. That, nothing like that. It's <laughs> never mind. You can never say that to a pastor because it'll be like, what? what no, 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 no. I cannot condone that. This I cannot condone such you behavior. Transparent. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It, and so, it, yeah. No, I'm, just, I'm being funny. So if you're out there having an affair, hold on. You're absolutely morally wrong and reprehensible, and you need to go and talk to your wife and pack all your bags because she probably should because be she's you. probably done with you. More importantly, <clears throat> if you say I'm being funny, are you? I have to say <laughs> that because I am a married man, and I will tell my wife jokes, and then she will stare. At me because she doesn't Stone understand cold, you're funny, and I'm like, that's a joke. And she's like, why wasn't it funny? That's that's and always like, my thing. Like, that's a joke. Say no because jokes are funny. I'm like, well, I'm laughing, I don't know what your problem is, but she didn't see you laughing. And I have that's to sleep the on the couch. Oh, do you no, really sleep on the couch? No. Like, I always make a big this has nothing to do with monopolies, but I always make that thing. I go, you know what? I says, we like, we're gonna argue, we're gonna right, play. we're married. Um, but I'm like, oh, I'm not leaving my bed. So, here's a fun story, okay? Suppose on that note, okay, I told my wife, I think my wife and my ex wife. Both oh, this, this is a great Not at the same time. <laughs> <That'd be weird. laughs> Y'all sit down. We need to have a when talk. I, when I first got married, I said, I don't sleep on the couch. Right. Like, that doesn't work. Okay? And I think I have twice in my current marriage because I was the one that got pissy. And you left? I know, or she I, kicked you out? No, no, no. I just got pissy. Like, oh. cause sometimes I get a little pissy. Like, when I get mad, everybody, the running joke in the house is that when I get mad, the house gets really clean. Oh, oh, okay. That's how my dad was. My dad was the same way. Just start cleaning stuff up and you know, everything. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I just get so mad. I get my, and it's not like our house is dirty. It just, it gets like spring clean. But I can tell right? the difference. Like when I walk I, in, I go, oh, 
Somebody was smells good in here. Somebody's getting into Somebody it. Somebody was pissed. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like that's just how that's my outlet usually, right? Okay. And then sometimes at night I don't have an outlet and I want to keep fighting, but that's very it's usually very bad, right? To keep fighting. And mm-hmm. my wife is more of a like, we'll deal with this in the morning after I've had some rest. And sometimes that's not bad. Like no, no, I, it's I a will good tell thing. I will it's tell good. couples that. Like, oh, you can't go to bed. Like I'm like, yes, you can. Right. Go to bed because sometimes yeah. Sometimes if you're just up and you're just fighting yeah. and you're not accomplishing oh, anything because yeah, no. a lot of times a fight turns into who can hurt who mm-hmm. can hurt who mm-hmm. more. 100%. And if yep. you get to that point, go to sleep. Just go yeah. to sleep. It's not getting better. Now, if, you can, if you're if you arguing, I think arguing is legit because you're right. still sharing ideas and you're going right. back and right. forth. But when you fight, right. I think maybe it changes right. a little bit. And, and and Christy really doesn't like to argue anyway. Oh, like yeah. She, I get she's thing. not a big fan of but arguing. I do. And, you know, I like to argue. Yep. And, and there does come a point where I'm just... I'm not really trying to hurt you per se. I've, I've matured a little bit, at least from that point. Mm-hmm. But I still am trying to like own the conversation, yeah. and win. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll get the win. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and 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 so when she goes to bed, it's you know one she's tired, and I, I'm going to tell you right now, the last thing that I should ever be doing is arguing with my wife while she's either tired or hungry. Because okay? those are two times you stay out of the way, you make things happen for her. Did you say your wife was difficult? No, I'm just saying. That I mean, there are two it times. almost seems like you're saying that during are, those two times, it, there are two your wife's times. miserable. No, there are two times when you. So, you know Godzilla, and this not is not like, an Asian joke, but she is Asian. I was say, there you go. You That's how just... she turns into Godzilla quickly. She gets hangry. Okay, I, and I got a level of tired. Bed. And so, if she goes to bed, it's in my best interest. It's in both of our best interests for me to let it to go. let it go. But sometimes I can't let it go, and I just get mad. I'm like, you know, what? I'll go to care for her. Oh, that'll, you know? oh, good night's sleep for her. That'll teach her, right? Huh? Right. right, <laughs> like, right. Now I'm winning so, as you're so, rolling all around so all night, all miserable. I, I find it funny though because I'm the one that made the rule, and I'm the one that's actually broken it. Yeah. See, like, like I'm an advocate. I'm like, you know what? And sometimes that will make I'll make my wife mad because right. I'm like, okay, I'm done. Like I'll roll over. I'm going to sleep. Like I'm right. done. Yep. And, and um, but I'm like, I'm not leaving. Right. Now, if she wants to go be angry and go sleep on the couch, usually she doesn't either. Right. But it's kind of this, nope, this is where we're going to be. Right. We'll take this yeah. up tomorrow. Or we won't take up tomorrow, depending yep. on how it goes. Now, I will tell you, as far as the hangry, mm-hmm. that's usually me. Okay. Uh, there will be times something will be going on. And, and I'll look, just the other day, uh, we were kind of getting ready to go do stuff and things were going on. And I finally, I just looked at her and said, I think I just need to have some dinner. Right. Like, because I, I could see it happening. Yep. Yep. And rather than going, hey, let's argue about this, right. maybe I'm going to shut up. We're going to go eat. Yep. And then I'll, I'll be fine. Yeah. I'll, you feed me and yeah. I'll go back about my business. Now, you understand this did not turn into monopolies now. This right. has turned into marriage counseling. Right. So, and this week on Liberty Dad, we will talk about marriages we, we, and how we, to improve your marriages and communication inside of marriages. And we could, we could keep Is going. that inside the topic of the book? Does does Wes Benedict cover that in one of the principles of libertarianism? Uh, now, I'm sure it doesn't because it, we're talking about this how... This is a freebie. We're talking about how sometimes don't argue. Sometimes right. just go to sleep and that's clearly not the oh. libertarian way. Libertarian way, no, no, you no. keep arguing. No, you keep going you keep that thing until going. that person blocks you on Facebook and on Twitter and then you take a screenshot of that and you're like ha 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 look at that they blocked me I'm a winner do, like, you, do oh, you know oh, I have really often sure half jokingly said that you know what I if even if I'm wrong I will argue with you until we're both wrong yeah until you see my side and right. we'll just both be wrong but that's right. fine but we're that's how we're gonna yeah. handle this I, I'm, I'm notorious for keep going keep going and here's the thing when I was younger I would try to say those biting things that would hurt somebody yeah. right uh-huh. you know you like, fight to kill, fight to hurt. You know, mm-hmm. you know, and 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 I would. Yeah, I don't remember anything that I've actually said, but I said some things that. Were That's mean. the problem. You can't remember. That tells you how oh, mad you, you were in what? that moment. No, I that remember. You will say whatever. Oh, don't try to pretend like now. No, oh, no I, I remember that bad. one. I remember one. Okay, and, and it worked. Unfortunately, uh huh. Um, it was on my ex-wife and. Uh, that's not why she's my ex-wife. But no, it's probably I, we many, fighting, many we reasons why I couldn't think of anything to say, but I had to say something. So I was like, I hate you. <gasps> I know, right? I said, I, and then <laughs> so, yeah, it's funny. The only one that's worse than that is when you tell somebody you are just like your mother. Like, that's so, just. <laughs> and so he came back with, Oh, you hate me. You, you hate me? <laughs> kind of like, How dare you? You know, so like, that's where this fight went. It was a very unproductive fight. And I, it was, the, I think it was the middle of the day. I should have just went and taken a nap. Yeah, you're like, right? it's like in the I, middle of the day, like, wait, what are you doing? It's not like, going well. Right. Like, like need to need to go take a nap because clearly I'm getting out of. But this is this is the younger me, the younger dumber me. Do you, that, do you, you know, know what? Happened? I don't say those things now because like, you've grown up a little bit. And you're like, like grown up. There's not productive at all. Productive about that. Like, if I hate you, we shouldn't be married. Jesus. You know, you know, I I often tell people that so many times 
words hurt and oh, yeah. words have meaning. And I'll say that, you know what? There are probably times, I'm not condoning this, but there are probably times when people go, I wish you would hit me than say mean things to me. Oh yeah. Because you know, if you get physically hurt, it'll heal up. And you're like, okay, right. you say mean things that stays. Oh yeah. And, and it's funny because spouses always know that thing to say, oh, you yeah. know, nobody can get you more riled up than your spouse right. because they know how to poke that button yes. immediately. Yep. They, in fact, they can go to, yep. they were perfectly fine to, I'm going to kill you. Like right. they know how to get right. you to right there. And so that's why I say we always have to be cautious because we know the things to hurt. Right. And those things will stay. Yeah. Those things will linger. Yeah. And, and they will creep up yep. even at the slightest hint that... Um, even if you're what, joking around about something. And it's a joking similar around, to that. Or, or if there's some, there's some cause for doubt, like how come he forgot my birthday? Well, maybe it was because of this one thing that he said, right? Like that's when these kind of things... Did you forget birthday? No, I just... Oh, okay. Like I'm trying to make up something off oh, the okay. cuff. And just saying like, like there'll be some moment where it's unrelated, mm -hmm. but somehow... It triggered. It, they're it, like... Maybe this ah. happened because of this. Maybe uh -huh. he forgot. Maybe he was. Maybe he's being quiet because of this. You know, it just and it just comes out right. Like this and, and, is why you don't. And it's say odd because things. usually when something is going on, women seem to sit there and when they're stewing in it, right? They seem to get pretty clear thoughts about what we're thinking about, right? Not at all. Right. They give us entirely too much credit sometimes. Oh, yeah. oh he's just sitting over thinking about this. No, right. we're not. Right. We're. Pro you know what? I, I there can honestly be times, not to sound too stereotypical, but they'll be like, "Hey, what are you thinking about? Nothing." Right. Like, I know my mind's There's moving about joke. something. Yes. I, like, I know my mind's moving and things are happening, but it's nothing particular that I'm putting a lot of right. thought into that I'm kind of like, oh, you know, I'm trying to figure out the cure to cancer. Right. It's not like that. Right. But it's kind of like, you know, and, and that will happen sometimes. I think sometimes right. they give us too much credit that yeah. we're, we are not conspiring right. to the fight or the, no, no, because here's what I've learned. Most of the time, I don't want to fight. Right. Like, I, I don't want to. Now, listen, I don't back down from it. You know, right, if I right. see an opportunity, I'm going to do it. I'm going right, to argue. Right. But as a whole, I don't want to. Right. Like, I'd rather just we go about our day. We, things are good and things are happy. Let's let's stay in that. There, I don't think there have been times where I go, you know what? I think we're going to stir this one up. Right. I think I want a night of just misery. Yeah. Like, I, I you know what? Don't give us too much credit. Yeah. We're not looking for that. Yeah. No, it's that, that meme where the, the, the man and the woman are in bed. And their, oh, their backs are facing each yes, other. Yes, and I bet and he's thinking. Like, I bet he's thinking about other women, and he's like, "How can I smuggle arms to Ukraine?" Yeah, that, you know, like, I, the, like I see once, like they're talking about a right? squirrel or something like yeah. that. Like, hey, how do squirrels do this? You're like, yeah, that seems about legit, right yeah. there. Yeah, and I'm like, now, now if I'm angry, um, then maybe I am conspiring. Like in my mind, like I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say oh. this, and then. And, and, and it, those are the times where it's good like that she went to bed. Or because that, now I because can't now focus I'm on it and I'll forget it. I'm usually, I'm usually very good about not saying like 98% of what co go, goes through my mind. Right. This is you uh, restraining a little? Because it's always bad, right? Got, okay. Now, you know, whenever you're fighting and, you know, usually most people say something they don't mean. Yeah, yeah right. To some degree. Uh -huh. I have just learned to temper it wildly because otherwise... Like you said, you know what hurts somebody. Yep. I know the things, you, you know, and I don't feel good saying this, but I think it's just a natural reality. I know the things that could sting and hurt my wife yes. all day. Uh huh. Like, like just say one line. It could be the simplest thing. Like one line yep. and all day long, she's going to hurt, maybe even cry, like physically cry. You right? Like I know the things, I Why don't do say that? them. Right? Why no, you, no, no. Were you heartless? Yes, I was. Oh, okay. When I was younger, I was. Right. Oh, stupid. yeah. Uh -huh. I was very stupid, yep. and I would say those things, thinking that it. Oh, it was, is... there, there was some value there, like the, the thinking. And, and here's the interesting part: when I was younger, the thought was, it was partially I want to make it hurt, uh -huh. but it was not just I want to hurt you to hurt you for for hurting sake. I want to hurt you so that hopefully you will see it my way so that you'll come around to, you know, it's this weird, bizarre thing. And it's funny like that you there often, going to be value out you of You often it. don't win an argument by hurting them to where they're angry or they, right. they have other things that they're not reflecting on. They're not now weighing right. in your point. Right. They're not all of a sudden like, you know what, I am a bee. And no, that's not how right. this goes. You, right. you know what I'm saying? There? But yeah. now, if I may segue this. Yes. Okay. So you talk about the meme where she's laying this way and he's laying that way. And how much you want to bet that she's sitting there going, I bet he's just thinking about all these things. And he's sitting there thinking about monopolies. Probably. And that's and probably like, what's running through his mind. He's like, you know you what? Know. There has never been a monopoly where government wasn't involved. Look how well we just transitioned. So now. That was beautiful. Let's see what Wes Bennett. Oh, we didn't even cover the reading of it yet. Yeah. Check this out. Oh, all right. Go ahead. Let's let's make a small. But can 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 we, we just made a small. Oh. 
can we can we, can we can no no love for the segue though? That was a great segue. I thought it was. But Folks, then did it, you like that segue? It was amazing. If you like that, put segue, in your comments. Make sure that you hit subscribe and throw a comment and let us know from wherever oh, you're watching, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube or do, wherever. Do they have to subscribe to comment? No, you can you can comment. Because okay. I, I get a lot of weird, like, robot comments that are like, oh, okay, you know, enlarge your penis by clicking this really shady link. And I'm like, first of all, not worried about the first one. Second of all, definitely not clicking not that. Not following one. that link to find out what yeah. that's going Even on? if I was interested, I'm not clicking that You, you know, I, I, on a side note, you know, we talked about briefly about doing some form of live one. Right. Some live podcast at least once or something to kind of right. see how that goes. And then we'd have that. See, I think I think that would we be nice. I like that that immediate and then feedback. Can be like, dude, get back on topic. You're supposed to be talking. That's about what somebody be saying right now. I don't. Care somebody about right your now marriage. should be saying they're just talking. You should be talking about monopolies. Yeah, monopolies. Monopolies. Right? You know, All right. So, of, why don't you retarded. read about? <laughs> so here's what he says. Here's what Wes Benedict says. He says only the government has sponsored successful monopolies that have treated consumers poorly, like the post office, utilities, and schools. The 19th century robber barons are a myth. They actually reduced prices drastically and uh, drastically and expanded services rapidly. They only hurt co uh, consumers when they enlisted the government to prevent competition, repeal antitrust laws, licensing laws, and trade barriers that protect special interests. So we'll leave this up for a moment. Okay. Where are we going with this? What do we got here? Okay. So the first... Are robber barons a myth? What are we talking about? What's well, oh. in here? He said the 19th century robber barons are a myth. Oh, this, this is the reason. So a lot of people kind of associate the robber barons with creating monopolies. Okay. Right. So you had, oh, I'm drawing a blank on every single one of them. Even there's like several. Like names. the bells? Um, well, Ma Bell, uh, the, the phone company. Yeah. That was a monopoly. That was a fun monopoly when you look at it historically. Okay. Because the government created, they basically said, all right, we're going to let you have this monopoly. Mm -hmm. And then years later, the government came back and said, so, you know, no. we need to break up this monopoly. Why? Why? They get to be the only like. Well, they get to be a monopoly because you you said they put could them there. Mm -hmm. Like you gave them that power. Now, now uh, am I allowed to throw a stat at you real quick? Do it let's because this might numbers. be the only one I have. This okay. might be the only real oh, like this, fact this, that I'm going to throw this out the rest the of the time. Only actual data you're going to get. This folks. is this is it Listen for real. Um, it says a firm might be considered to have a monopoly power with more than twenty five percent of the market share. Okay, you read that one more time. Okay. A firm might be considered to have monopoly power with more than 25% of the market share. So when we are told something is a monopoly, in all reality, and even by government government standards, if we want to say it that way, they might only have more than 25%. Wow. If you think about that, because in Monopoly, in my mind, it goes, it's only this company. I right. think we all kind of defer to that sometimes. Right. Uh, but no, what the truth is, in, in actual right. phrasing of it, you can have 30%. Right. So let's break this down. Okay. Folks. Mono. One. Duopoly. Okay. Two. Two. Right? We, we know duopoly. Yeah, yeah, we know duopoly. We're fully aware of duopoly. In the past, we talked about the duopoly, right? Mm -hmm. and, um, and and that's where they have the control of the market, if you will. In this right. particular case, it would be the, the political market. Right. Right. And they have, they have that control. Mm -hmm. Um. And they they use that control to edge out, to elbow out any competitors, you know which is what actually happens. So when you get to a monopoly, then you have to have some sort of power. It's not just a share of the market. No, you have to have something behind and it. 25% seems ridiculous. It does. Real quick, though, in, in what you're explaining by duopoly, and the, so you know what? We, as libertarians, because we always make the connection about how the two are just basically the same, mm -hmm. we ought to start calling them a monopoly. Just for the fun of it. Right. Just like, it's not even two of you. It's basically just one of you. Right. Yeah. Like, we should start saying, yeah, we want a duopoly. It's you two and us as libertarians. Right. That's the duopoly we want. Right. I'm going to start doing that. So I'm telling you right now. I'm going to start throwing that one out there. going to be like, dude, that's not. No. If we're making the argument, they're the same. They're right. the same. Right. Okay, they're one. They're they have control. They're, they're basically up. husband and wife. They're agreeing with each other all the time. And when, even when they fight, they end up on the same page. They end up going to bed together. And right. Them. They do. They end up going, wow. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> right? Wow, oh, this duopoly is like a husband today. and a wife. That, and then when they, even when Ooh. they fight, they, they eventually go, go to bed together and they wake up and they're back on the same the page. Page again. And then libertarians are like the poor little children that are just They just have to listen to them fight from the next room over. And, and like, like, oh my, they're going to get separated. What's going right. to happen? And they, the whole time they're going, no, dude, we're fine. And then they don't get separated. And then the children, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm, and the monopoly continues. Yes. The kids are, okay, so... 
Here's why I disagree with that. Actually, I think that 25% that, is very I, low because like that would mean that if somebody has 40% of the market and another person has 25%, then you have two different entities that have, that should that both are, then are, fit over the standard. That, that they're both monopolies. monopolies. Like how, how is a monopoly two different entities, right? But you know what it is? I think that because I think the truth is we just want people to take this thinking. Right. Don't think past it. Don't right. get into the reality of, we want people to say that if we say monopoly, we want people to think, they're the only ones. Right. Even though the truth is they're not. We don't want people thinking that. Remember, right. we want we don't want people too informed. Right. So why is we want to be able to throw so, the language so, out there. So let's do this. Okay. We know that and, and it happens all the time. Like even outside of the statistic that you gave, people do say, well, they have a monopoly. And what they mean to say is they're the dominant player mm -hmm. in the market, right? So right. somebody might say, Well, like, um, once upon a time, um uh Windows, right? Microsoft. Okay. Yep. They were the dominant computer system in, in the marketplace. And so or the they, only one. Right. So so then they would say, well, they had a monopoly on it. Right? right. And so what is wrong then with saying they have a monopoly? If what we really mean is they're just the dominant. The dominant player. one. Now, now let me. OK, so here's some things that I have. Some questions, okay. if you will, about the monopoly idea. Even saying even okay. if you're going to use Windows as the example. Let, let, let's say they are. Let's okay. say they were truly a true monopoly. They were the only ones that were out there crushing it. Now, could it be that they have become a monopoly? Monopoly? Could it be this a monopoly? A monopoly? Want. Yeah, I'd rather. I hope I don't, but now I probably will. I'll probably say it at the very worst time ever. I'll be like standing on stage somewhere, like, hey, we're against speech. monopolies. What? So, all right. So here's what happens. Couldn't it be that? They've become that because they've mastered it. Right. They, whatever that is, if it's Windows, if it's a product, if it's a widget, right. It's a doorstop, whatever right. it is. Right. They're the only ones doing that for one is one reason could be they've mastered it. They, right. They've become the best at it that nobody else even wants to compete against that company because nobody's going to make it better. Right. Okay. Um, could it be possible that things are a monopoly that this doorstop is, this is the doorstop company because nobody else wants to get into that business that everybody right. else looks at it and goes, I don't want to deal with that. Right. Like why, why do we always think that, well, it's because somebody came in and took them over and they ruined it for, no, what, it could just be the market said, you know what? They're already doing it. They're doing it pretty well. They've right. got enough. We're not, it's not financially worth it for right. us to get involved. Well, they're, they're and, and I think that, if there's not regulation behind it, right? Okay, I think there is that point in time, right? Mm -hmm. There was a point in time where <clears throat> Facebook was the dominant social media network, right? You're right. And uh, you know, a lot of people are like, I got this idea, and like developers like me are like, and you really know what kind of effort would be involved in trying to compete with Facebook because they're already in existence, they've already got yep. people's attention, people are already using it. So now, I would have to come up with a reason for you to use. A, a different, a, a different platform. Yep. What is going to be so different from mine that's going to that's going to draw you away from them? But also, there you're getting into the regulation idea. Because remember, right. Facebook wants regulations now, right. and all that really does is right. keep, keep others so from getting in. Once upon a time, there there would be that. But then somebody came up with this idea and said, you know what? Let's do social media a little different. Rather than having a post that you make and all these pictures that you share and you have all these friends, how about you just have connections and then we give you 120 characters that you can say something. Okay. We'll, we'll call it Twitter. Twitter. Right? And so then Twitter came up with, with an entirely different idea. Which is kind of morphed into, right. isn't it basically the same? I, I mean, remember I'm not on Twitter. There, there, are, there, are, there are dramatic There's... differences still to this day. Oh, really? Between Facebook and Is Twitter. it just yeah. amount of content? Like the, that um, you're able to post? Or is it other than that? Kind no, of... no, well, so for instance, just in posting in, in, in terms, like I can go to Facebook mm -hmm. and I can write a really, really long post. Yeah. You cannot do that on Twitter. Trust you, have to, you have to break it up into multiple tweets. It's ruining the English and, language. And what happens is if you break it up into multiple tweets, then it has to really be engaging because I'm if you have like 10 tweets and they're not all equally relatively interesting, then you could kill the whole thing. Because right? what? Because it's not like that on a on a post. Like on a Facebook post, if you have one paragraph that's not very interesting, you can just kind of skip over that, go to the next paragraph, because it's right there. I don't right. have to like scroll down and do right. you know, do anything weird, you know. Um, but on the other hand, now that we have Twitter, people that are on both expect less on Facebook. Got it. Oh. Right? So, yeah. So it's, it's had our an attention impact, span. But it did come in with its own different, unique experience. And then because of the way that the platforms work, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people will say that Twitter is a cesspool. 
and it okay. kind of is politically. Right. There's it's a cesspool. Okay. And I don't feel like it's quite like there's a different vibe on Facebook when I'm interacting. Okay. Like say if I go to a news organization and I chime in on one of their articles, I feel like there's a, a slightly different vibe on Facebook than there is on Twitter. Okay. Like Twitter is like you're trying to get that snarky quick comment out. Oh that yeah. Someone's gonna That's, be like. When I was on Twitter, I was kind of like that. Yeah. yeah. So I see what you're saying. That, so but the, of course there's a difference. Um, but in order to compete. Yeah, we, they had to. They had they to. Hope have something was something wasn't exactly different. like yeah. it. They and want it, the same premise. They want right. people to use it as this type right. of thing. So basically, what they did is we could say that Facebook had this monopoly, right. but somebody said, "Hey, wait a minute! I I I want to get right. into this." But I don't because there's no government ever had a complete proper uh, definition of. A but monopoly. even if we took the definition that they have there, twenty five percent. But anyway, yes. but here's what I'm saying though. Here's what happened. Let's say Facebook was the only one. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Right. Then people can still use it or not use it. Right. Because because and maybe in some ways, uh, Facebook isn't our best example because it's not essential to life. People can be like, I don't mm -hmm. care about none of that. Right. Um, if you talk about your electric company or your phone company, stuff right. along cable company, stuff along those lines, that's people who go, wait a minute, I need lights. Right. You know, so it's maybe it's a little bit different. But the idea behind what we're talking about here is kind of the you know what if monopolies naturally happen. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're not so bad. Right. Maybe because they pro they produced a higher product. Right. And other people said, um, I, I don't want to get in. Like, I, I don't want to get involved in that right. line of work. So I'm just going to let it ride. Um, and, and so that maybe the market kind of said, nope, we only need this one company. Right. And I, I don't think that's necessarily wrong. Right. Because here's what happens. That as you go through and you look at it, and I'm going to jump here a little. You don't mm -hmm. know about my notes, but I'll jump my notes a little bit. Um, there are some benefits to a monopoly. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think some of it's kind of, even what he mentions inside of there, um, that it, it, it can actually bring costs down. Right. Because here's the thing, they're not competing with anybody. Competition, right. I do know, let's be honest, competition does have a tendency to bring prices down. Right. Okay. Because they're saying, hey, wait a minute, I can do what they're doing, but I can do it for this price. Well, now right. I got to do something. But it also works the other way. When they go, I'm the only one, I'm not, I don't have to come up with new technology. I don't have to come up with the new latest doorstop. Because right. nobody's competing against me. My same old doorstop is working. You know what? I've learned how to make it cheaper. Right. I'm able now because I'm not competing with making a better doorstop. I can lower my price. And right. it happens. Like those things happen that there can be times when there's only one company doing it. And they're like, hey, okay, I have nothing to go against. And they will naturally kind of say, okay. Because at some I, point, you, you know, flood gonna, the market. I, I disagree. Okay. I disagree. I don't think that there's... Uh, um, in, 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 in the in the you don't necessarily have competition from somebody else so there's not like this i have to fight a compete against this other company but i think there's always some level of competition because you're competing against somebody buying your product or service or not yeah right so i'm okay. always competing for somebody because remember i could like if you have a shop and your store and you sell widgets right mm -hmm. and let's say you're the only one anywhere that sells this widget okay you're right. I do, there's no competitor. There's no guy down the road that I might want to buy their widgets from instead of yours. Right. But there may be um, a guy down the road that sells an entirely different product unrelated to you whatsoever. And I have only 10 bucks and I have to decide, oh, yeah. do I want to spend my 10 bucks you or do I want to sip, you know, mm -hmm. um, whatever he's selling water. Right. Yeah. Like, do I, I want macaroni or a widget? Right. Mm -hmm. You know. And so I think there's always that level of competition. And then eventually it becomes, you know, Hey, depending on the product or the service, uh -huh. then you may want me to buy more of it. Well, how do you get me to buy more of it? You make a cheaper iPhone that's, you know, that breaks okay. more quickly or whatever. Yeah, or, right. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. But but here, here's the thing is, what can also happen inside of that monopoly, even like what you're saying there, is the product becomes less desirable. Right. And, and that right. will naturally bring your price down. Right. When you start going, you know what? People don't want my widget anymore because, they, you know what? I flooded it's the boring. market or they don't care. It's not the cool thing anymore. Right. They moved on to something else. That will naturally say, okay, well, listen, I still want to sell my widget. Right. So I can't sell it for a buck fifty anymore. Right. Now I got to sell it for 75 cents because, so you know what that does? It actually makes the company more efficient. Right. They start doing things at a better level. Right. They can produce it faster and cheaper. Or, or yeah, and uh, close to widgets. Fidget spinners. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Were uh -huh. once super popular. It's like everybody had one. You're like, dude, what's your, what's your? You got a three prong one. Y'all were really doing. I mean, I saw kids. I always you know, kids, people kids were like checking them out. Like, yeah. people had them. Everybody, uh -huh. everybody had ADD all of a sudden. Oh yeah. You know, and they're uh -huh. like, oh, you know, instead of meth, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use this fidget spinner. And, yeah, you know, I don't know if that of, became the next step um, of like, hey, dude, finally got off that meth instead of drugs. But I can't get away from this well, fidget spinner. <laughs> and, and I jokingly say meth because um, the 
the the scientific name for like Adderall is methamphetamine or something like that. I don't okay. know. So no, we're good. Meth is in there. Anyway, anyway. All right. Side look. So, uh, but people would, you know, it was just popular. Everybody seemed to have a yeah. fidget spinner. Now you barely see them at all. Like nobody seems to have it. Nobody's playing with it all the time. Like they used but to. I bet you somebody's probably still making them. And, yep. Somebody's still making them. And so there was this surge in the market. Yep. Where everybody seemed to want and, one. And people started and, making them and then they started. And making... then they wanted unique ones. Like, yep. oh, mine's red and green. Oh, mine's Mine black. lights mine's, up. And... You know, mine's metal, whatever. You yep. know, whatever. And they had these different ones. And then all of a sudden people got bored with it. And so then the fidget spinners kind of took a nosedive, if you will. And so they're not nearly as popular. They're still out there. You can buy them. Yep. And um, But if companies want to sell them because there's not that demand for them, then they have to learn how to make them cheaper or they have to make them more attractive. Yeah, they got, so they they got to do something. People or... that want to buy them will buy them. Yep. Right. So even if there was only one fidget spinner maker out there, mm -hmm. they would still in order to in order to separate us from our money. Right. They would have to do some innovate or do yep. something to keep us wanting to, to, to now, give now, our money. To them. Now, here's what can happen inside of what you're saying there is that it's the downside of the monopoly. Right. The downside of the monopoly can mean that all of a sudden industry ceases to exist. Right. Because once that company says, yeah, we're not going to do this anymore. Right. Now you can't get a fidget right. spinner or a widget or whatever it is. You can't get that anymore. Right. That's the downside to the monopoly. Right. The downside says one company stops making it. Right. You're yeah. out from here on the, out. The other downside, and this is the one that people actually tend to complain about, Prices. is pricing. Mm -hmm. Right. So you get this monopoly in there and then they'll just charge whatever they want. want. You know, mm -hmm. and but the first problem that we run into is that there's never been an actual monopoly by pure market forces. OK, the monopolies always have had assistance from the government. OK, so the telephone company, mm -hmm. Ma Bell, right back in the day was a monopoly very clearly because the government said we will help you become a monopoly under, you know, here are the conditions for which we will allow you to be a monopoly. Right. And then years later. They were like, you know, it turns out that was a bad monopolies, idea. <laughs> monopolies are so bad. Uh -huh. and you know what? This Ma Bell, like, I can't believe why should they have all that? You know, and so the government like totally flipped 180. And instead of saying, you know, what? we're going to help you. They came out and acted as if they became a monopoly all by themselves. And it was the government had to come in and save us. And I was like, no, the no. government was the one that put them there we in did. the first place. Mm -hmm. So you're not really saving us. You're just undoing the work that you did. The message. You know, and, and, I think, and I think I see what he's saying there is keep the government out of it. Right. Because the government will either, right. sometimes they'll either promote one or get away right. based on they the regulations and the involvement. When they enlist the uh, government to prevent competition. The post right. office. Right. And uh, post does, office does, he, does he mention the post yeah, office in there? Uh, or at the very top. Monopolies that have like the post office, poorly, utilities, like and schools. The post okay. So how is the how is how, how is how is the post office treated customers poorly? One, they lose your mail, um, and I think for a time, if mail was lost, it was just too bad. Lost, yeah, it was like, just lost. Like too Best bad, luck right? to you. It mm -hmm. wasn't like UPS where I'm like, all right, this is worth a hundred dollars, and you know, I put out, I fill out this paperwork, and then when it doesn't get delivered, I'm like, hey, I got a claim because you didn't deliver my stuff like you said you were. Going right. To. I mean, now the right. post office has stuff, right. but you know what yeah. that is a level of competition came to them. Right. Uh, listen, I'm going to be honest with you right now. Like I, I struggle with the post office. I struggle with the concept of it because they're not that good mm -hmm. at it. And the price, it, it's funny that they're a private agency, but they still get all government funding. They took all right. the, and the government still tells them what they can do. And right. I'm like, you know, this is one jacked up mess of what's right. happening. It's because the government got right. involved and basically made them, all right, just right. you. And now listen, I, I understand using the post office as our example, it's constitutionally there. Right. Okay, okay, I'm fine with that. But it doesn't say it has to be the postal service. Right. Like, I, I've been making the argument, why do we not have Amazon delivering the mail? Right. Amazon's already in every neighborhood anyway. Right. Um, they've already have shown... have 17 times Exactly. A day. I'll have three different drivers from Amazon come to my house in a day. And my package still doesn't get here until 10 p.m. For real? I mean, usually I mean, later. It's usually but, later, but, but let's not be, 10 Let's be later. honest. Amazon has learned how to expedite things. They've learned right. how to get things through and through right. the system quickly. Yep. So I was like, okay, wait a minute. Unfortunately, the government got involved. They mm -hmm. made this monopoly. It says, right. no, this is who you use. Right. You know, to the point where you can't even put things in that mailbox. You right. know, if you put anything in the mailbox, that's not through the postal service. You just put something right. in there. You get in trouble I mean, for that. If we look at it, the innovation did not come out of the post office. It no. It came out of competition to yes. the post office, right? Mm -hmm. So think about some of the things that we've seen. So UPS, I believe it was UPS that came up with the make right turns only yeah i, I remember you talking about that yep so the ups the i and i'm it, somebody you in the comments you can correct me if i'm wrong on the history exactly but i believe it was the ups uh no the it was ups who who said you know what how do we save on fuel well it turns out 
if you're waiting at a light, you wait longer to make a left turn than to make a right turn. Mm -hmm. So we will use computers and we will make sure that our guys are only taking right turns so on the route. Of, you kind of work so, in circle basically and work your way out right. back to the warehouse again. Technically. Right. Okay. So effectively they're making, um, if they're not making only right turns, they're making mostly Most right rights. turns. Yep. Right? And so the idea being you, because when you, everybody knows when you come up to a light and you stop, even if you're the first one there, if it's a right turn that you need to make, all you need to do is wait for an opening. And yep. You can make Off the you right go. turn. If it's a left turn, you actually have to wait on the light. And depending on the light in the city, cycles, it and could be turn signals. Yeah. You, know, you could be watching everybody by you go past. And then finally, the left turn folk yep. get to go left. I mean, it right? makes sense. Right. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and that's appropriate. And, right? and, and mean, the post office doesn't care about that. Right. But for delivery, for, for managing your assets you and assets being your vehicles, like the wear and tear on them, yep. the amount of fuel that you're spending, like that matters. Do, do you know, and this is how far it's gone with the postal service as an example, that once government gets involved, it gets out of hand. Do you know, like I've talked to postal service people and, and they've said that, no, 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 like they would like to get out of their car and walk the route and they're not allowed to. Right. It's, it's designated in such a way that, no, 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 they have to. Pull to the house, get out, walk up the driveway, right. and they have to keep doing that. And I've asked my postal, I'm like, hey, why don't you just? He goes, no, we're not really supposed to. We got to pull. I'm like, that's the dumbest thing in the world, right? You, you know, but that's what happens right. when the government says the government not only caused it and keeps it there, but right. then they put their own regulations inside of it, right? And it just gets absurd. It's no longer efficient. It's just the only one we have, right? So I guess the question becomes then is how do we how do we undo that? Because I think the postal service is a good example because we all deal with it, right? It's not Facebook because people right. go, I don't want Facebook, I don't care. Right. It's not a doorstop because I don't need a doorstop. Right. Mail, right? We all use the mail. When so, we were once upon a time only sending paper, uh -huh. a letter, a postcard. Yep. And the post office was the only entity that was providing that service. Mm -hmm. Then you don't feel like you're missing out as long as it gets there, right? Right. As long as my uncle in California. But even though we knew how slow letter, it was, he gets my his birthday right. card, right? As long as that those things get out to them, then we're happy with it. And um, but then you start seeing things like. Once upon a time, my understanding is that the post office was solvent. It was financially solvent. But then the government got involved and said, you know, I, you know, and I, don't, I don't know the details exactly, but I believe they started borrowing money. And started, but they started getting their hands in it mm -hmm. for non-postal reasons. Right. And of course, so government screwed up there. The other failure is that once we started having things like Amazon and stuff like that, it was Amazon that came up with, hey, maybe we'll build a warehouse and we'll have all these items in a warehouse and then we'll send people out. And then UPS is like, oh, by the way, we figured out that if you make right turns only, you know, you can cut down on fuel costs and you can, you can even get to places faster, yep. you know, within the city. Yeah. Right. And so all these innovations have come from the private sector. Private sector. Right. Not yep. from post office. Right. Post office had no reason upon a time to change time didn't it. even deliver on Sundays. Right. Or the weekends. You knew actually. Weekend. You knew actually force that. You knew actually force some Am uh, deliveries on Sundays. Amazon. Yeah, Amazon was like, if you're going to work with us and deliver, we, our you have to deliver on Sundays. Yep. And do you know? You know what I found out about that? Do you know that overall, because they took on the Amazon business, they've lost money because their contract never that they took to get all of it was a large sum of money to bring in, but ultimately they lose money because it's not financially worth it for them to be delivering those packages. Right. I found out that even though like, no, we get a bunch of money in. Okay, they get $8 million. I know the high, number's higher. They get $8 million, but they found out they spent $8.5 to right. actually do it. Right, yeah. But they took it anyway. Yeah. Oh, like, and, and that's that's a horrible does. business it's model. Government, because government has no... The people that are running the show in, at the government level, mm -hmm. they don't really have the incentive to be profitable because they don't have a shareholder standing on their neck. Exactly. Right? They don't yep. have somebody that's... You know, they're they're like... Hey, we need more money. That's what you hear, right? Everywhere. We need more money for the post ups. We need we need more money for um, schools. We need we need more money for infrastructure. It's always we need more money. We we need more money. It's never. Hey man, we this need dude to... lost his job because he mismanaged the, the project. Right, right. Caused, it's had, no longer how do we become more efficient? It's right. more of just throw money at us and that'll fix it. Right. H how? Yeah. How, how does that fix it? You're yeah. still making the same bad decisions. Okay, so you hired more people right. to make the same bad decisions. Yep. yep. And so, so I think, um, you know, the, the post office is an interesting one because it actually was profitable at a, at, at a time, but it was not innovative. And the thing is we need innovation because mm -hmm. our, our society is constantly changing. Once upon a time, you know, you didn't really send a lot of packages. You didn't order a lot of stuff. You didn't order, you know, right. I mean, you, there was order. I mean, you had mail order stuff that you But it was this year's minimal, catalog. Really. Yeah, it was and it minimal. was limited. You didn't mm -hmm. have a lot of choices and the catalog was like this thick and half of it 
was just teen boys looking at the uh, lingerie. Oh, the, oh, you talk all oh, stuff like that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Like, but most people didn't really buy a lot. You might have saw on QVC a, a few things. Now you go on Amazon and there's like there's it's endless supply of things that you can buy. And so I can like, get it with two days is the the furthest it's going to take me. My mechanical pencil, my mechanical pencil. I got on there the other day. I was like, none of the other mechanical pencils in this house have an eraser that fits here. So okay. I went on Amazon and I found that I can buy on Amazon. Just, just the erasers? Just the erasers for this mechanical pencil. Just the did erasers. Did the Postal Service give you that? Did no. anything from government just Sears give you that? And Roebuck, no. Did their catalog give me that? No. no. All they gave me was lingerie that I couldn't wear. You can now, but at that time it was kind of frowned upon. Okay. So, you know, but 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 this is the thing. And in order to have all this at our disposal, to be able to get it and get it quickly and mm -hmm. make it more valuable than going to the brick and mortar store. Right. Amazon had to say, how do we get it to you in, in a way? Because that will be the deal breaker. Confused. If we can get it faster to you, because you can get online and get it from this, get it directly yeah. from that other company, yeah. but it's going to take you a week and a half. Amazon yeah. said, hey, wait a minute, I know what I can do. I can get involved and I can shorten it to two days. And guess what they'll do? Right. In fact, how many times there have been things that, you know what, if I waited six days, I might have gotten something. A dollar right. cheaper, but I go. I'll pay the buck. Right, I pay the buck because yep. I want to hear faster. Yep. And right now, what the post office is doing, the post office keeps raising their prices, but they're not making their service better. Right. And I think that I think people have learned that. Like, wait a minute, because like you go, like I'm looking at doing mailers for the campaign. Right. And so I got to mail these things out. And do you know clearly the most expensive part of it is mailing them out through the postal service? Oh yeah. That's the problem. Oh yeah. And not because they're the best at delivering it. No, no, right. that's not it. Right. Um, it's because that's the rate that they've made. Right. So I think the first thing to figure out, uh, the first thing that we have to come to a terms with is that monopoly is not being used correctly. Okay? Right. So, so the term itself is just not being used correctly. Mm -hmm. It's, it's cause it's do it. Two things are happening. One, they're saying some level of market dominance means you have a monopoly. And then two, um, it's usually comes with a stigma saying monopolies are bad. Right. Okay. Well, first of all, if you have market dominance, that dominance does not stay unless you have forces that make it stay, stay. Mm -hmm. right? Because it probably so, would have phased out. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is where that competition comes into play, right? Because competition says, hey, look, maybe you've got a business and you've got the market dominance. You're like 80% 80, 80 of the market share, right, in, in the business. Mm -hmm. You've got this huge corporation. You guys are just, just, just crushing it in the market. And then I come up with a slightly different idea. And I'm like, oh, well, maybe I can do a spin off of that, right? right? And see how that works. Now, maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe that's what people want. Maybe and, I yeah, but, but then people get in there and they go, this didn't work. Right. No wonder and, why they no wonder why right. they have 80%. Still, right. still right. the best model. Right. So mm -hmm. if you're crushing it and you're doing a great job at delivering mm -hmm. a product and you're consistently innovating and consistently doing new things, whatever that may be. Yep then it makes it harder for me to compete with you simply because you're just that good. You're good at it. Right? You're good at and it. And people are, people want what you got. But if I find that weakness in your armor and say, oh, they're not delivering this, right? So here, I'll give you a good example. Google was the um, um, was once upon a time the dominant search engine, and mm -hmm. it still is. Um, I don't it use it. It now has a competitor, yep. DuckDuckGo. That's what I use. Okay. DuckDuckGo came across, and, and it was hard for them to compete because, I mean, Google seemed to have everything, right? Right. And so you, ha you have to compete with having everything, in, you know, lickety split. Yep. People say that word? I don't know. You just did. It. I say it. Yeah. I say it because I'm old. Because you're 90, right? right? And so, um, so what they came out and they said, well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to build a search engine that doesn't track you because we know that people are and getting sensitive about their privacy. Right. So then they and then they, 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 there were two things that were a big draw for me for DuckDuckDo, right? DuckDuckGo. And one of them was, hey, we're not going to track you. And then the other one was, we're not going to drive the results based on your prior yes. searches. So in, in, in the example of that was if you got on there and everything you were searching in, in clicking on was more conservative links, they, then they, they are steering start, you in that direction, serving you more conservative yep. links. But what if one day I'm like, you know what? I already know what the conservative voice is saying. I want, What's the more liberal? And voice then you saying? what you had to learn, you had to go down seven, eight pages. Nobody goes to nobody right. even goes to the second page. Or you would Google. have to you would have to start really altering your searches yep. so that you could get different results, which became more difficult. So DuckDuckGo said, "We're going to do that as well. We're 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 just we're, we're not going to serve it to you based on you know we're just going to be like here it is. Yep, yep. And and so then they were able to grow. Now the, did they take? the 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 market from yeah Google is Google search? shut down no no they're not um is Google 
quite the dominant player that they once were. Sort of. Not not entirely, mm-hmm. but DuckDuckGo has managed to acquire quite a bit of its own. Yeah. Now, they screwed, enough, up, enough they screwed that, up recently when they made some announcements about Ukraine and how they're going to alter some of the oh, yeah, saw, permits information. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, you literally you, you literally just pooped on your golden egg. Yeah, because that was what was making you different. Like, that, like, but, but, that, but that was their choice. And, right, right, but that's their choice. Yep. Right? And and so they can do that, and th- that's a gamble that they have to make. Yeah. Like, And a lot of people were like, I'm done with DuckDuckGo now. I'm going to use this other a couple of others that I've never even heard of. Oh, really? Yeah. So, so like I said, but this is this we have to we have to start understanding what the purpose in the marketplace is mm-hmm. for companies. And the purpose is to deliver goods and services to consumers and they have to compete. And the, the thing about um, monopolies is that one, in my opinion, going back to what I said earlier, there's never no competition. You're at least at competition with yourself yesterday. Right. You know, um, so there's always something, even if it's just, just you. podcast. Imagine if I was the only podcast out there, which would well, be very unfortunate. Yeah. I would still have to compete with my podcast yesterday because if my podcast. If you start, if your quality starts going down, they go, you know what? He used to be good. Right. Like, you know, or you know what? Tub I, ruined I, this thing. I, or, or He was could, doing fine before this tub or, guy showed up. And, or somebody could just be like, he's plateaued. Like he's, he's not any worse. He had a good run. Me, but he's not any better. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not that interesting. Is that why you brought me? I'd in? rather spend my time listening to audiobooks. Right, oh. my, or maybe watching TV. Like, hey, Netflix got this new series out. Oh, like, go watch I'd that rather watch of... that instead of watching DL. Mm-hmm. Right, like so. So even though I may not have a direct competitor, I have competitors because people people have their time and their money, and there's always competition for that. Right, even if the competition's not and, directly in the same market, and you can either fill that void or right. just get passed yeah. up by it. So I think the first thing that we have to recognize is that there's always competition somewhere. Okay, um, now it gets tricky for us when we get to. Um, Things like uh, uh, cable, stuff like that. Right, we'll, right. We'll get to, but I think the, but we'll tackle that in just a moment. But I think the first thing to talk about is what is a monopoly? A monopoly literally is one. It's the only one. Okay? By, defin- by, by true definition. By true definition. By true, and I think economists, I think when they talk about monopoly, they explicitly they to mean one. Mm-hmm. Like one player, right? So is it a problem in the marketplace? Only when the government is assisting them. Because when the government isn't assisting them, then every weakness that they have gets exploited. Have, somebody gets, else uses somebody it. Somebody else exploits it, right? Yep. You know, they're and look, maybe some of y'all smoke some weed out there because y'all are some libertarians. Oh, yeah, you know. So you've probably heard this a time or two from a drug dealer. That's stuff I <laughs> in told case you they're having those week. conversations with the drug dealer. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna break this down in, you know, a little bit more crude terms. That stuff I sold you last week, that ain't nothing, man. Dude, this week, this week, you got to smoke this stuff, right? And drug dealers are notorious for saying stuff like that. Why? Because even a drug dealer who may have dropped out of high school and doesn't seem to be smart understands that he has to separate you from your money. They know market better than a lot of companies. You like weed. He knows he's got to build up this week's weed from last week's weed. Because you might just be like, you know, I'm fasting this week, even weed included. So I don't really need it. He knows he needs to get you to separate. He needs to separate you from your money. Business in the free market that's regulated and legit, quotation marks there. It's legit. Because your weed wasn't legit. Have to do the same thing. So it doesn't matter where this is, whether it's. The legitimate quote quotation marks there market or the illegitimate market, right? The black market. It mm-hmm. doesn't matter. Somebody needs to separate you from your time or your money or both. Right. And they have they have all these competing forces. So the first thing to think of is monopoly means one, there's no such thing as a monopoly. Right. It's never existed unless the government has been there to help. So now let's talk about the tricky You part. got more? Let's talk about let's talk about cable. Okay. That was a problem. And we're right. not going to get into the nitty gritty, you know, was it, um, the, the last mile, which was the re- really big. But let's talk about where competition does become more difficult. Um, electric, water, right, right. cable, uh-huh. where we can't like it's one thing to have 12 different competitors to Amazon all driving around all over the place. Right. You know, you've got like so like with mail or anything that gets mailed that gets sent as a package. Right. Mm-hmm. 
you've got UPS, you've got uh, USPS, FedEx. you've got FedEx, you've got DHL, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You've got, um, you don't really have Amazon unless you're a, a seller or something. And you like got that. some local companies that will do certain little right. things like that. Yeah. Right. So, so there are, you know, you can have all these different vehicles on the road, you know, and I see them. I'll see like the FedEx truck go by. Oh, and yeah. I'll see UPS and mm -hmm. I'll see Amazon. And I know that people are getting diff different, you know, the packages from different, you know, but we don't, we don't have that ability. Like I can't have 12 different Comcast running lines here or 12 right. different, um, uh, who's the phone company that does the, uh, um, uh, AT&T. I can't have 12 different, you know, because it's physically difficult because they'll have to dig holes and like, you know, lay landline, uh -huh. right? Like, and that becomes a bit of a challenge. Water. There is no way in hell you're going to get, I mean, you might be able to max out at two, two different pipelines. And I could say, that's gonna I want a pipeline lot a, but that's going to be a To huge, get into that business, I mean, I mean, to buy your way into that and get going. It would, it would be the, the, the cost and then just the infrastructure that's what realities saying. would be yeah, difficult. It, yeah, it's right? almost impossible. Think about that. Think about it. Because in order to say you, you picked up six houses in this neighborhood. Right. Now you got to run six separate lines because you can't taint it by using the existing line. Right. So right. you have to run a whole. So it's almost it's right. technically and those impossible. pipes are like huge. Yeah. You know because I mean yeah the water that comes to my house maybe only comes in a pipe like this directly from the water line but the water that's feeding everybody in the neighborhood is not that line exactly. Huge, yeah. That's right. And so you can't have twelve of those. Mm -hmm. So how do we deal with that market competition? How do we deal with that in terms of? Um, uh, monopoly. That, well, I'm saying because we do obviously we deal with that right. here. And to be honest with you, I, I, like I don't have that immediate answer. I, I don't have right. because what is the alternative? Right. The alternative is that everybody's going to run a new line, and no, that's not going to happen because right. no company's going to jump into that. It, it's not financially worth it for them to do it. Right. So, uh, and it's physically difficult because there's but, only so much. But space then here's to work yeah. With. But then here's the other problem. Then you say, okay, well, the government needs to get involved right. and make it so that there's not price gouging and they're not going crazy with this because they have the monopoly. Right. Uh, but we would look at it and go, well, we don't want government involved. That's the point of this. Right. So how do, how do we avoid that? Because you can't... Do we, you... do we feel right now that we're being price gouged with our electric and our water? Okay. So I say yes in some ways. Let me explain okay. why. Um, because I had a talk with our, our local JEA mm -hmm. and with our water line in particular. Which is um, a private company. Yes. Yeah, ish, mostly. Ish, with, ish. With, it's with another government one. hands involved. Exactly. It's another. It's like the postal service, but local. <laughs> um, so inside, I mean, there's weird overlapping yeah. and stuff. So anyway, so the guy came out because I was having a meter issue. I'm like, you know, it seems like my water's mm -hmm. going crazy. And um, so we looked at it and we found the problem. I had a slight leak in my toilet, which is fine. But here's what he explained to me. He goes, listen, he goes, actually, he goes, as it comes out, mm -hmm. we charge you two and a half times based on the assumption that that's how much water you're using that we're not getting back in return. Right. So it's this random kind of calculation that they've come up with. And here's why I go, well, okay, it's an assumption. You've made an assumption that I'm using X amount of water that never got put back in through the system again. Right. Because that's how they base it. They base it off of what goes through the waste, not what comes through the, the other way. Right. So I look at it, I go, okay, so what happens if, I'm dumping stuff down my sink, which I do. You know, like I got old soda or old tea or something. You dump that down right. and it's going through the thing and it's showing that as waste. I'm getting charged two and a half times that amount. And I go, it wasn't even water. It wasn't even something that I can, uh, that I purchased that I got from you. And now I'm giving it back to you type of thing. This was something I bought at the store separately and I poured it down there and you're charging me as though I used water on the other side of that two and a half times. Right. So I go, wait a minute. That, that doesn't seem right, but that's what, th that's the best that they can come up with with calculations and stuff right now. But I have no alternative. Right. I have nobody that can go, well, you know what, then? I won't use your company. Right. Because if there was somebody, another company, I could go, you know what? They might charge me one and a half times. Right. Like they might come up with the same calculations, but right. use it. And, and so I, I don't know what our immediate fix is. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I think that we can, like, how do you rebel against that? Like, you don't. Like, there's no, there's, unless you turn off your water completely. Uh -huh. And you constantly just purchase water, and then you don't run anything down your drain line. You get rid of it elsewhere. Right. You know what I'm saying? There, like, there's no real life fix to that. I don't know that we're always going to have the answer, folks. But here is an answer. Give it a try. Okay. Okay. So we have HOAs. Right. Okay. You have different. Do you have one here? Mm -hmm. Okay. We have a voluntary HOA. Voluntary one. Okay. In other areas, they have a mandatory HOA. Right. 
So you buy a house, you uh, you pay an HOA due. Period. Okay. End of story, right? And then that HOA is responsible um, in some areas for certain things. So in our neighborhood, mm -hmm. the, uh, the HOA is only responsible for the lake behind my house. They okay. maintain the lake. They keep it up. They, they, they do all the, the testing and if there needs to be anything added to it and they'll put new fish in there. And they'll, you know, they, okay. they, may, they, they, they work and, and, and keep that lake okay. taken care of. Um, then they also take care of the common areas. So we have like a park and, mm -hmm. you know, a big, nice little field that's, you know, I can go up there and take my son and we can frolic right. in the grass. And all that. You're going frolicking with your boy. So, okay. And, um, so we have that and they have like a little jungle gym. Then they have a tennis court and right. they have uh, a swimming pool and those actually have additional fees to them. Right. Okay. But then over my, right, the neighborhood right next door, uh -huh. my friend, it's a mandatory HOA. Okay. My friend, there's a bunch of town, town, town homes. And so they maintain all the outdoors for all the neighbor, all, all the, all the, okay. Uh, all, all, they cut all the grass for all the homes. So my friend does not have to go out and maintenance the yard ever. Right. The, the HOA takes care of that. Mm -hmm. They also take care of the roofs. Okay. So the HOA, so if there's roof damage, the HOA comes and makes sure, sure that it gets replaced. Okay. Okay. So they provide different services. So what if, what if you had little, um, uh, little neighborhoods yep. where water was fed in yep. and um, that rather than having a company that necessarily is to each individual, it's to each neighborhood, uh, neighborhood. Uh -huh. or maybe even a larger component. So right. maybe yeah. you have, maybe you have a group of neighborhoods, yep. right? And so you have water company A, water company B, where the competition wasn't granular at an individual level. It was at uh, not quite city level, but somewhere in between. How do because right now JEA services all, all of Jacksonville. Them. So, all right, but okay. you already said that there we is no competition. You've already said we can't really run lines, right? Okay, even to that expert. individual one. Uh, yeah, but even still, that that's a huge undertaking to because right. then where's the source coming from? Because they're going to go right. back to the same source to get right. the water from. Right? Do they make their own treatment centers in order to send those? What? Right. But but here's the thing. So when you're saying this, I'm thinking, okay, so wait a minute. If we'll say, what's well, for the ease of conversation, mm -hmm. your HOA builds up this area and they say, we bought this water source mm -hmm. from JEA. Right. This is ours now. Right. So we can do with it whatever we want. It comes on in. Right. But then I'm like, that doesn't solve the problem either because now they've become their own version of a monopoly to your area. It didn't give me a second option. It just gave me, they bought it from the first option and they became the first option. Right. Um, so you're talking about they have to run a whole new system. So uh, what I what I'm doing is I'm saying like I I, I don't know that the issue the, the problem of monopoly has to be so granular. And I think that one of the other problems that we think of is that everything has to be very individual. Otherwise, it is a monopoly. Now, it's a monopoly here in Jacksonville, right? Because there is no other option. There right. is no second I couldn't even go, like in my scenario, I could at least say, you know, I don't like the water service that I'm getting here. Um, I'm constantly getting boil advisories. Right. Um, but my my friend over there, he never has a boil advisory. So whatever they're doing over there, whatever that company's doing that's servicing his area, right? And, um, you know, and, and I'm, not, I'm not trying to say this is the answer. I'm just saying, right. Like, Let's start thinking in this direction. Let's start but thinking that maybe did they run their lines or did they purchase the existing lines? Could it could be either. It could be that you you know a company purchases the line that's existing to a certain point and says from here on out we're taking care of it, right? Um, so once they do that, they can determine how much for them that's enough profit for us. Like they go, I don't need to do two and a half. Right. I can do two. So so in other words, you but they still become the only source though. Maybe. So I'm looking at it. I'm saying like you could, you know, in, in theory, we could have a situation where um, you have two water companies, maybe water company services, one, you know, A services the east side of town and water company B services the west side of town. Right? Okay. And so now you actually have two different water companies. And then you have competition because but, but it's, it's not any different than um than schools. But, but hold on, but hold on, that doesn't work. Because the people on the east side can't start using the company on the west side. Well, they would have so to So it move. doesn't work. They would have to move. So move. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that how we get out of monopolies? Just move? So well, if you don't like a natural monopoly in your area, rather than try to fix it, we just move to Montana I mean, and stay. I mean, think about it. Anytime you switch from one business to another, is there not some sort of cost on your part? 
Yeah, but but listen, how often do you change? Like, you could change your phone company, you could change your cable right. company now, right? And and you don't have to move your house; you can live in your right. house still. So, like when we went from Verizon to, um, uh, drawing a blank on the name of it that we went to, we went from Verizon to. Uh, not you didn't go to Mint now Mint. we're on Mint Mobile. But, okay, but we went to one of them smaller carriers, right? And they basically piggyback off of some of the big. They, ones. The same, yeah. They but yeah. but the service is not always as good. Yeah. So there was a cost. So I got a. Lower, well, you didn't. But what, what, what I'm saying though is, it came at a cost. You right? didn't have to uproot your house and your life. You didn't no, have to do that. Don't I don't think. I don't, because here's my problem: is I I don't think what you're saying. If that's the case, we could bring in thirty water companies, right. but they're still going to tell you you can in your house right. and in this neighborhood right. can only do and so this company. What what I'm saying is what's there so is let nothing. me let me let me lay it out a little okay. bit. I think whenever you whenever there's competition and you switch from one service or product to another, right? There is a cost to you on some level. Yeah. In in when it's easier to have many products to choose from the cost is a lot lower to you right? right when there's fewer when for whatever reason there's 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 less ability for there to be multiple like it makes sense to say there's ups fedex usps dhl and whoever else that i right missed, right there's all these different companies for mailing stuff mm -hmm. so the cost for me to use one over the other is smaller Okay. And just you know, I might pay a little bit more, or whatever. But otherwise, I'm I'm basically going to get the same service because I physically can have all five of those or however many, right? R right. I cannot physically have five or or definitely not thirty different water companies exactly with the same, you know, saying, "Hey, we're the very source of it." But I might be able to have two or three if we rethink to what level I can have that. So if we okay. say it doesn't have to be individual per se, it's more like by neighborhood or by or by areas of town, then then I still have choices, but because I physically cannot have thirty choices, that means it's gonna be more in uh but, more but, but, but what I'm to saying me and, to switch. And, but it's still there. But what but what I'm saying though is that is um also if I do that, I still don't have a second choice. You're still just telling me that's great that over there. I guess you would look at it more like a, a package. Like, hey, I'm living on this side of town, and with this side of town comes the package of this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Electricity, totally. this and that. But if I if I don't like the services there, I can then I can I can move move to and, a different part of town. Move, move to a different part of town, and you know what? People move to but, different but, parts of town all the, the time. But the problem is, yeah, I know, but usually not so, based on the fact that I want better water service. But why not? They do it for school service. We in Duval County here right now. Duval County Schools are are uh, you is know a conversation we want to have right now. Yeah, I mean we'll just briefly talk. Okay, people right. people don't like them, right? And they move to St. Johns County because of the the school system there. Okay, it happens all the time. People move to Clay County. I've heard from the school all system. All right, but hang on, right? But, so people people do that all the time. Any major city you go to, there is an area where people say, "But but I'm moving here's, because I don't want my child going to that but, school." But but here's why that's also doesn't work in the sense of. You talk about a school system. Well, it's, it's still private school. It's still charter schools. I can live in my house and still have these other options. Right. I opted out of six options. Right. And what you're telling me with the water company, I'm opting out of one option so I can go over there to another one option. Because even when you move there, right. it's still just one option. That ultimately you run the risk that they could do the same bad service. You're going to keep right. You're going to keep moving. Right. So hey, that's what I, you I, right there. That's what uh, you see that. As, okay. Sure. Okay. So. <laughs> So here's the, um, um, I, th I think it just is, we have to think of some services and goods as having different potential than others. If, if I'm selling skateboards, right. I mean, there could be 20 skateboard companies in this, in the city. Right. Right. Uh -huh. Probably not 20 per se, but there could be many. I mean, there could, yeah. There could be many. I mean, many. take breweries. We got those. Yeah. 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 We got plenty of different breweries. Yep. Right. And, 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 but I think that there are some goods and services where it becomes more difficult to have five, 10, 15, 20. Where it's almost so, impossible. It's, it's almost impossible. Right now we have one. Right. Right. And what we're trying to do here at this point is not really solve the problem. Right. Just start saying, what if we think of it a little differently? Okay. What if we think of it as instead of JEA services, all of Jacksonville, uh -huh. 
it's JEA services, let's just say the east side of Jacksonville, and then the west side is serviced by JEA 2. Hang on, taking your idea, taking taking your idea. All right, what if a company can say, hey, listen, we can keep the main lines the way that they are, mm -hmm. but we want to start purchasing off of your main lines and into your individual houses. Right. Okay. So they understand, hey, we're going to, we know we're going to pay JEA X amount of dollars for or use right. cents. Right. For each thing. But now I can take individual, like I can purchase individual things. And then here's what they can do. They can then say, hey, you know what? What we're going to do for our customers, we're going to put an automatic filter at the beginning of your line. Mm -hmm. So now if you come to our company, we're going to charge you X amount of dollars or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, but we're going to give you a filter. Right. And so everything that comes into your house is filtered water and we're going to, and we're going to take care of it that way. And the next company down says, yeah, they can use that kind of filter, but we're using this. And right. then... We get the same water source because we can't get away from that. Right. But we can purchase individual upgrades right. in a sense that makes our service now better. And if we don't want to deal with any of that, no, right. I don't want, I just want my cheap old water because I'm not using it anyway. I have a filter system in my house. Then you stick with the JEA, you stick with the local provider and it just runs the same. Right. So maybe the fix is not to run a whole new line. Right. It does become individual because each of these houses has a line that runs off. And now they go, you know what? We're coming in. We're basically going to take this service from JEA because we, they kind of deal with it. Right. Right. Okay. That right. Now we're not going to relearn these up, right. but now we own, like this right. is ours now. Right. Because we've taken this over. Right. Would that not work? I think it could. And, and and there's any number of variations that we could come up with, right? Um, ultimately all we're all we're really acknowledging is first of all, there isn't I mean, depends on how you look at it, right? Like or whether you're looking at it from a micro level or a macro level, mm -hmm. whether or not there is an um uh, a monopoly on electricity and water. Right. Okay. There is if you look at it from a citywide perspective. Okay, from a citywide perspective, there is only JEA. Yeah, but I think we just come up with a viable option. Right, 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 right. But if you look at it from multiple cities, well, then there's not. Because right. there's JEA here, and then there's, uh, what is it, F FLP? For, FLP, yeah. FLP, so, uh, what, down south, I think. And also, Actually, and then you got Clay Co-op right out there. Right, yeah. Right, so when you when you start expanding out and you look uh -huh. at the whole state, well, there isn't a monopoly on water and, uh, and, and electricity, right? Not, not at the state level. There is at the... Um, you know, so that, so, that mi the so micro versus all micro. this, all uh -huh. this really ends up being is how do we define a monopoly? And I think the first thing that we have to say is monopoly has to be one and only one. Right. Then we can decide, okay, to what extent maybe some will be, uh, broader and some will be more narrow. Mm -hmm. Right. Cause, cause if you look and you say, is there a monopoly on steakhouses here or fast food places? you know, here in Jacksonville. Well, no, there isn't. No. Is there a monopoly even in a, a local area, a local neighborhood? No, there isn't because there's a McDonald's, a Burger King, Taco Bell. There's going right, to be several right. other places, right? Mm -hmm. And, and you know, have a couple of Chinese places. And, you know, so there'll be a bunch of different fast food places that you have. So so there isn't one anywhere along the line, no matter where the view is. Right. Unless you're like, is there a monopoly on this one on this street? Block. Right. Well, okay, maybe on this one street there is, right? But that would be absurd. Mm -hmm. But I think we have to start looking and say, where does it make sense to really call something a monopoly, you know, and, and, and how do we start answering some of these questions by and, and revising I, how we think about it in the first place? And, and I we think we first have to say has to be one and but, it has to be only like, one. Like I, I would Nobody else can be in it. I, I, I would agree with that. I would agree that, yeah, one, one, obviously. But I think that to me, it's, it depends on how does it get to the end at the end? Mm -hmm. How many choices do people have? To right. me, that's what determines monopoly that um, it's not a matter of, I don't care if there's 30 right. different light companies in Florida. I can only use one. Right, right. So I think that we have to always keep that in mind. I think it always has to come right. to the end purchase. Yep. At the end, how many yep. options and, do they have? And I think that it's probably more appropriate to say, how many options are there in a city? One yeah. city. And so then I think that's the appropriate level. Because I, I think it would be absurd to say, well... There's no monopoly. We're have 30 water companies for here. Tampa man. has Florida uh, power and light. So clearly there's no monopoly because, you know, there's two. Like, well, no, I have no access to it. Right. Anyway, right. If I had access to it, then. Right. No, I have no access in Jacksonville. But if Jacksonville had two, three or four, because you could say like, hey, you could break. Jacksonville's big enough. Oh, yeah. That you could break it up into quadrants. Yep. And you could say we have four, even though I would have to move to a different quadrant. To yeah, get that service. I mean, you still there. running, but the thing is, once again, once you go over there, right. you still only have one right. option. But then, now it'd be different if here you have one option, but you go over there, you have two. Right now, you're and, talking, and so now, now the question becomes: 
okay, but do we want to privatize it, right? Which kind of falls upon this monopoly when you're talking about utilities and services. Like yeah. That, right. And so I think then the question becomes, do we want to, why, why would we want to? Well, maybe we might want to, because if, if the government, it, which it's not quite government here, but if, if it were the government that was only providing it, mm -hmm. then the government has no incentive to make to it be, better, to, to be, make it better, to make it more right. expensive. And, Private companies do. So a private company might say, well, we'll clear up the water and send it out in this huge tunnel, like, you know, like the tunnel, I mean, this huge um, pipe, mm -hmm. right? So our pipe that we're sending it out from that, this is fresh, clean water coming from the absolute source. Right. We're going to go 50 feet out and then we want to sell everything else from there because that's too much for us to service. We only want to service getting the water out. And it turns out we only want to do it from this side of town. We don't want to do it from that side of town as well. Okay. So then some other, so now you have company A, company B, who now are like, we're only going so far out. Then we're going to sell it. And then somebody else comes along and they say, well, I'll, do, I'll, I'll maintain the water that I'm getting from company A all the way to, comp, uh, to neighborhood A, right. neighborhood B, neighborhood C. And then company B, same difference. And you have maybe a couple different companies, right? Still say, so then you break but, it up. But it's still, it's still once again, end game. To me, right. it comes to final purchase. But the final, final... purchase as the, the, the individual, um, I don't think that you can get to a point where you have... Dude, I thought I just multiple. gave... Like, honestly, see, here's well, the, here's what I always like about these conversations is because you conversations, you start going and you start thinking. But it, it's still so, the same water, right? You're, you're just, you were saying like filters. Yeah. And so like you're each saying company can company, say, hey, yeah, each company can come in and say, hey, we're buying X amount of lines. Right. Or we have the availability. Like this company, right. this house wants our business. So JEA, we're going to get the line off of you. Yeah. We're going to make the upgrade. Yeah, we'll I just agreed with you on that. I just agreed with you on That's that. That's what I'm saying. I think that, I think that yeah. maybe as crazy as that sounds, right. that is an option. Right. And, and, and more than We're on the same nothing. page. We're yeah. on the same page. We're saying rethink. Yep. How, because the thought process is from source to end point. Yes. How can we have different, and I'm like, maybe it doesn't need to be that way. Maybe the source at the very beginning is one company mm -hmm. and then they, they absolve themselves by selling lines somewhere along the way. And some other company says, we will buy these lines and we will service them. We will make sure that they maintain, they don't break. You don't have yeah. to, you know, and Hey, but, we might even throw a filter on there. Mm -hmm. We'll, you know, hey, this neighborhood, we're going to give you guys some extra. Um, I was going to make a joke, and now I'm, my brain just broke on it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, like, that, I, I think the, that the I dental think, stuff. I, I think that well, oh, fluoride. Yeah, we're going to give extra fluoride to this neighborhood, right? You know, as part of our service, and there. Uh, but, but I, I think that if, if, to me, it's all at the end game. Mm -hmm. I, to me, I, I can't get past the end game. To me, it ends with once the consumer, once it gets to them, how many options do I have? To me. That will be the definition right. of monopoly. How many options do now? I'm talking about financial. Right. I'm not talking about like, oh, I can afford this. I can only afford this, so I only have one. No, no, that's not what I'm talking about. Right. Like, if you have 30 cell phone signals, or we'll keep using the water example. If you have 30 options of companies for water, and you can only afford the cheapest one, that doesn't. No, no. no. Let's be very clear. That's not saying that there's a monopoly because you can't afford. No, no, no. When there's only one source one that says, yeah, one option. To me, that's monopoly. And I don't care if there's 60 across the state. Right. I don't care if right, right. over there, right. it came from one source and it got dropped off to this source and this right. source. I can only get it from one. Right. To me, that is what we have to work on. Right. That's what breaks up the monopoly. Right. So I think that, I, I'm telling you, I, I kind of yeah. like the idea that we started talking about there. Yeah. Kind of like, hey, why don't we just have each right. house have and, an option? And and we'd have to look into the laws to find out. Psh, um, laws. No, 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 no. no we'd have to look into laws to find out, um, can another company come in and say, well, I'm going to lay... Um, pipe right next to the current existing company's mm -hmm. pipe and we're going to run it right alongside so that we can compete like i'm willing to bet there are laws that say you can't do that okay but which means uh -huh. which means that jea has a monopoly Monop because government has said regulate okay, this there, you can't a regulation do that. that you can't do this yep right there's some regulations so it's not a natural benefits. monopoly it's a forced right. one uh -huh. right so so even the natural monopolies I'm not so convinced that if we go back and we look at all the laws that pertain to them, that we won't find some the, way that the government made it. Government go in that, has, that has assisted the natural monopolies, yep. um, you know, and and maybe there are natural. It's I'm willing to admit that there might be a natural monopoly that I can't think my way out of, and that's okay. For real? I'm okay with that because it's probably going to be so far and few that it's not a big deal. 
Listen, if you can't figure it out, I think we're, I think our work here is done. I, no, I mean, period, like ever. Right. If you it, listen, I've lost all hope. If you can't right. have the answer for a DL, you're always the one. Hey, I no, mean, we got the, we got an answer here. I mean, I usually have an answer of something, even if it's not a good one. I have you one. have something. That, hey, I'll, Liberty, I'll, I'll, some words come out of my face. Liberty Dad has words. Okay, so <laughs> I have I think, words. I, I know some stuff. Though. I think yes, we've sir. covered it. We've covered so, we, folks. In this episode, you have gotten, you have gotten marital counseling. You have received two things. You've received. Marriage counseling, you've received ideas and thoughts on how we can deal with monopolies, even the natural ones, even the ones um, right up to your house, right? Like some ideas on how we can rethink like it. Like I think this is, is legit. I'm sorry, go ahead. You're wrapping yeah, up. Okay. Dude, We're wrapping up. You know that a monopoly means one, mono, one, mono e mono, one on one, right? Like literally, we mean one. Anytime we use mono anywhere else, we need to be consistent and use it in monopoly. It means one, one poly, okay? That's it. And so... When we think about a monopoly, we think one ent entity that can that somebody else cannot, not permitted to compete with. Mm -hmm. If everybody else just can't because they suck, yeah, it's all together different. That's just dominance. Yep, that's just better product. That's dominance, better product. Come up with a better. How's that saying go? If you can build a, a better, better mousetrap, the world will beat a, a path to your door. Yep, right. Like like that literally exists. Um, so you've gotten that, and you've received. I keep saying gotten, and you've received. All my poor English today. So that's a bonus. So now you know that Liberty Dad is not that educated. For real? Liberty Dad can figure this out. And half y'all are smarter than me. Probably what about the other, oh, well. the other half? The other half. The, the, the other level. half? Yeah, How do level. you continue to no, exist? At my level. Okay. So, so if you're the half that's smarter than me, then hey, you should be able to figure it out. If you're the half that's as smart as me, then you should also be able to figure it out. Because I did. This is truly when a, so live, a for everybody. live communication would be good because somebody would be like, yeah, but yeah, but what about this? And what about that? Like, I always like those conversations because yeah. nobody goes, oh, I didn't, like, I didn't think of that. And you're right. You this pretend is you didn't see that comment because you don't have an answer for it. You're like, yeah, 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 no more comments. So, you know, like, I guess we're all done. Like, no, I'm not you, Eddie. We got a comment. Uh -huh. Like, man, I don't see any more comments. I guess it's time to go. So, um, so with that, folks, I it think is time done. to go. With that, it I, is I time, to, time go. to go. I okay. think we're going to close this episode out. So, hopefully, you enjoyed it. Check out uh, some of our other episodes, and we will see you later. That's all for this episode. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button and connect with me at Liberty Dad on Facebook, Liberty Dad Pod on Twitter, or send me an email to LibertyDadPodcast at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. To catch Liberty Dad episodes when they air, head over to Facebook.com forward slash free speech media, where the weekly episode airs Monday night at 8 p.m. And while you're there, be sure to check out the other free speech media shows. Prefer an audio format? Then head on over to LibertyDad.com or just search for Liberty Dad, all one word, on your favorite podcast app. Remember, if you're a champion of liberty, your business is people and your product is liberty. Have a great week. Catch you next time. And I'm out.